This will allow you to work with more pixels. Make it a lot more manageable. Although it might be slower, I have a lot of uh, programs open right now. And I'm sorry for that, but I don't turn off my computer sometimes. So, uh, so many things going on at once. I swear. I, I swear. For a lower opacity, just even lower. Just lowering your opacity. Look at that. It is it is stroking just ever so softly. Now taking the light, your eyedropper tool, selecting that light, same opacity, and working around it. Around it. Don't want to overdo it. Just enough. Around it. Bow 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 bow. See? See that? Just until it gets all overdo it. Don't want to overdo it. Ah. So what kind of material would this be? Kind of like a rock thing, because it's not all shiny. If you want it to be super shiny, watch this. Select the gray. Alright, lower your uh, lift up your opacity. And erase that highlight. Erase it. You want a nice um solid flat color right where the light highlight is going to be this is going to be I think it's called specularity I'm not sure luminosity lumines luministics we'll call it the uh, spotlight spec light raise your opacity all the way up to 100 get your option commit option tool Select the uh, canvas and hit it. Hit it hard. Hit it. Bow. Like that. There it is. Right in the center where the light is strongest. So basically, there is, an, a, there is a circular gradation. Darker, less dark, even less dark. All right? Same with here. It goes this way. He goes, but it's a longer, it's a longer distance. Dark, lighter, lighter, even lighter. Okay. Why does this matter? Because if this was not over here, all right. If this was over here, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. You'll see that sometimes in graphic. Um, cartoons and stuff, which it's just you know you can do it, but it just doesn't make any sense because the the strongest light gradiates and weakens from here. See, it's, it's there, and everything else wraps around it. Everything else wraps around it. Feel me? Feel me, homie, homie G, son. Baby girl, baby boy. So actually, keep your opacity up, 100%. This is called a hard edge. That means we don't want that that uh crazy, spirally, slinky stroke. Oh man, see what happens when fire trucks go by. Oh man, that dog, that dog. I swear. I swear that dog. See? So what I'm doing is what happens is the shadow the shadow that's closest to the object is much stronger than the shadow way out here. Alright? Again, softening it up. When you soften it, lower it down to 30% opacity. Flow around 30 and soften it out just the edges like that just the edges anything more than that it's gonna screw up your shadow remember it's still a shadow in in essence alright look at that reflected bounce lights everywhere never mind let's keep that out just to keep it simple Okay, another quick tip. Um, 
you can select the opacity level just by pressing the numbers on your keyboard. See? Do, 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 do. 20, 10, 10, 10, yeah, 10. Just like that. Good. Soften the edges, soften the edges. I'm taking the white and just soften the edges. Oops, soften the edges, soften the edges. Soften the edges. edges. When I say edges, that term in art applies to the edge of the line of the form, can be the edge of the light, because if you think of the spotlight as an element, it has an edge. Let's soften it. Of course, you know, spotlight, you don't really care about softening it. You want it to be hard-edged. You, want the, you can take this value here, eye drop tool, and applying a little bit right there, eye drop tool, and then softening it. All right, if it's too slow, it's working too slow for me. I'm gonna move it up to forty. <laughs> Dang, it's bright. It's bright. But guess what? Guess what? Relative to this. It's not the same value. This is dark. This is light. Keep your eye right here. This is dark. This is light. This is dark. Light. See that? You want to always keep keep that in mind. If you ever get to this value here, you're wrong. This is in light. This is in shadow. How can something be a shadow be brighter than the light side? Okay, if it's like this, then you're gonna really look funky, you know? It, unless it's like a really fragment like marble, which um, for most part, for the most part, okay, just for the most part, just take my word for it, all right? Because there are exceptions. I'm sorry, there are exceptions, and I'm constantly looking out, zooming out, zooming in, zooming out. Now, core shadow. We're gonna try to pump out the core shadow. There's the light, highlight, reflected light, core shadow cast shadow all right every single one of those guys are elements that you can modify and strengthen or weaken or diffuse okay select that color move it down just a hint right here right here in the center not not here that's not a core shadow this is not core shadow this wouldn't be core shadow that's not a core shadow Okay, this is where the core shadow is. It's the most, it's the centermost area. It's the centermost from here to here, here, here. Right there. That's where you want it. I lay down my paint, Ashim tool, lightly. Sorry, I want to blend it, right? Hit three. Hit three. Now we're blending it. Let's pull it back out. Uh, it's just one way to do it. Um, we got our ball. See, I popped out the core shadow just by adding a little bit darker value. So I'll have this file up, uploaded to my DeviantArt. You guys can go pull it out, and check it out if you want. See that? On and off. On and off. Uh, on and off. Let's do a quick review. Yes. Okay, first object was the line. Booty boop boo. And then we have the local value. Bow. <laughs> then the shadow. Bada. And then the cast shadow. Boom. And the reflected light. Pop. And highlight. Bada boom. Pop. Final render. Ba -ba. Rendering. Ba Bow. See? There you go. Well, that sums up our video. I hope this helped you guys. If you're not a beginner, please skip ahead. And if you are a beginner, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Until next time, you guys, good luck. Keep practicing. And uh, I'm your host, Jet. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.